All right, everyone. Thanks so much for listening to another episode of Full Body Cast Presents Garage Night. Garage Night brought to you by Cole Street Brewery, 1627 Cole Street, Enumclaw, Washington. <sighs> Take yourself in there. Get 15% off your drinks. Also, uh, we do live trivia. I guess that's usually... We don't, we don't record the trivia. <laughs> it's trivia last Wednesday of the month, starting at 6.30. Uh, we've got... Uh, one of our Garage Night guys just, uh, I think he's got to win every time he's shown up. Uh, but uh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Also, go to Bordeaux Wine Bar. Take yourself in there. Full Buddy Cast. The hashtag. Show the server. Get $2 off your first drink. Uh, flight. $2 off your flight. First flight or drink. Uh, Mazelon. Go, go say hi to Andy. Mention Full Buddy Cast and he'll do something for you. I don't know what it is, but hopefully it's legal. We got Garage Night. With the Bentley Brothers, we got Craig Bentley on the mic. Hey, everybody. Name's Craig. I think we could be great friends. <laughs> Would you like a waffle? <laughs> <laughs> this is our kid's show with Craig Bentley on the mic. We got Corey Bentley, his brother. I was excited to be here, but I'm still feeling good, probably because I'm on muscle relaxers, but <laughs> yeah. I'm still feeling good. Yeah, look at those muscles, too. Guns out, man. They're relaxed. Guns are out. Sorry, I had to turn down uh, uh, Corey's mic because we had Homer Robertson over there who like mumbles. So I had to like crank up his. Uh, he does this, I'm like yeah. So uh, and he's like five feet away from it. I'm like Homer, get in there. But he's a good friend of the show. Did you have you listened? Corey doesn't listen to any episode. He's just on a podcast where he doesn't listen to <laughs> absolutely any of them. I didn't. I didn't know he was on. Maybe I'll listen to that now. Yeah, Homer was on one. You're just gonna. Why didn't he come do this with us? Well, I asked him, but he he's his uh, Thursdays and Fridays are all jacked up. He said oh. maybe with his summer, he usually takes like the month of July off. I don't know what he does. So. We, we can talk about playing ball at Old Montgomery Court. Montgomery Court, Deuce Court. What'd you call it? Deuce Court. Oh, Deuce Court. I thought you said another word. And I was like, we were gonna get canceled for that one. <laughs> Please. Homer came down and played <laughs> ball a couple times with us. Did he? Was okay. he a baller? Yeah. Was he a shot caller? He was a three-point shooter. Did he have 20-inch blades on the Impaler? If I remember, I, he was a... God, I had to have to ask him now. I think he was a Reggie Miller fan. Yeah. I remember. We, you must listen to the episode because he was... He was Did he talk about that? He li- he's, he, he's like Braves, uh, Niners, Reggie Miller, so the Pacers. Uh, I want to say the Blackhawks, maybe, for... Uh, for Hockey? No, his genre of what he watches. On, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> No, I just remember his his shot. It remi- it, I think he kind of modeled his shot, if I remember, after Miller. I knew he was a Reggie Miller fan. Did he, did, did he trash talk like Miller did too? Oh, he loved trash talking. That's what he does. Yeah. He still does. Yeah. He still sends me messages like <laughs> if the Seahawks are getting blown out or the Braves. He's like, oh yeah, check this out. Braves have won like nineteen of the past twenty four, leading the league in home runs. The month of the month of G- just doesn't stop. <laughs> just doesn't stop. But I like it. Worst part, though, I've had this conversation with him is when I see him at the casino and I'm in the bonus and he's just talking to me. And I'm like, dude, I want to just play this game. <laughs> I just want to play this game right now. I can't have you in my ear on this. Um, but a good dude, friend of the show, Patreon. So, yeah, so he's out there. You can listen to him. Had trivia last night, which was a lot of fun. Uh, the man who shall not be named, I think he was able to obtain the final uh, piece of the of the Triforce that he was looking for. For he, I think he got got the got the gift card that he was looking for. Yes, yes, he did. <clears throat> so although made- although if he gets another, it might be an even even hundred. So we'll see. Yeah, <laughs> that was good. That I was going to say, is he done? Showing up now? Is he just, I don't know. <laughs> May not see him again, but he he's achievement like, unlocked. Yeah, he he got it. He uh, he was a lot of fun. Uh, while we were going, while we were playing, we had my entire workforce showed up because we had a dinner party prior to that. I'm like, hey guys, I got I got to bail on this. I've got to go to this. Uh, you know, I'm hosting this thing. It's it's last Wednesday every month, and then they were like, oh yeah, maybe we'll show up. You know, kind of like. And I'm like in my head. I'm like, I don't know how that's gonna go. So I hope it goes well. But they did show up, and I thought it was just gonna be a few. And it was like a clown car of people just continuing to show up. So we had about probably twelve more added to the group. One guy was like, "Hey," pulled me over, not from my not from uh, work party, but he's like, uh, "You can't have a team that big." 
that's unfair to the rest of us. And I'm like, bitch, <laughs> you been here before? <laughs> Remember the super team? <laughs> no, he's a good dude. I didn't say that. But I'm like, uh, I'll split him up. I'll see what I can do. And I did. But then that guy, that guy didn't win at all. <laughs> so it was kind of like it didn't really matter. But uh, it was uh, eight teams at one, nine teams at one point. A lot of fun, all ages. Craig uh, leading. They were leading the first round. Yes, I think that team came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, third <laughs> round, and then just stole it from them. And then the sec- they, then they were like, we're not messing around. Second round, you guys won. Pretty dominant. Dominant. And but, then they were close. From what I heard, because that team left, you, you couldn't. Yeah. yeah what, so I you, mean, they seemed I – don't, I don't know them. I hadn't seen them before. Yeah. But how do you, how do you go to trivia – Play one round and then just leave. Dude, come on. They're, they're Craig, probably, probably Craig's like, this pissed. Is ch- this jump change. We're just easy. We're out. <laughs> Craig, Craig's pissed because he wish he would have thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> he would have just won, retired at the top, <laughs> undefeated, and, and I'm out. <laughs> I can't avenge my loss if they leave is what he's thinking. <laughs> that's exactly. yeah. so, so that's the thing. <laughs> what if they were listeners of the show? Like, you know what? We're going to get that Craig guy. <laughs> this is what we're going to do. We're going to win and then leave. He can never have a chance to beat us. And don't, e- don't even say anything to him. Just walk out. <laughs> no, the, the reason uh, I want to know, I want to I wanna say, it, I want, was it uh, a tra- was it Travis Johnson's kid? I don't know. Maybe not. I don't know. The guy looked familiar. I was like, I think I've met him with like somebody. I think it's somebody's like kid, but they were sitting in the in the main area, the non trivia area, uh, the front of the house, whatever you want to call it, um, and I'm like, "Hey, you guys want to play trivia?" And they're like, "Nah, we're gonna go next door to get some food." And I'm like, "Well, we got a thirty dollar gift card to the Rainier that if you you know you could possibly win." And they're like, "Oh yeah, okay." And that's exactly what they did. <laughs> they won, took the thirty dollar gift card, and they were see ya, <laughs> easy. <laughs> but they were the there were some weird questions. That was a very General, was it a potpourri <laughs> yeah. category? It yes, was. it was general. It was general knowledge, potpourri. It was. It was crazy. It was weird. But they up. See, the thing is, the last time we did it, you guys weren't a part of it, but uh, their systems were down, and so we, I had to just grab, you know, cards. I mentioned that, so I was a little nervous on this one. But I talked to uh, Sean at Cole Street, and he said that he had. Um, He's like, yeah, they ha- they were running an upgrade during that time because I think they're updating some of the questions, which there were like twenty twenty three questions, so we- things we hadn't even heard- didn't even know stuff that had, like that I don't even know if it's- it was Guardian of the Galaxy questions volume three, yeah. So you- there's a lot of people that hadn't even seen it, and there's questions there's- about it. I didn't know there's one out, <laughs> man. There was one that someone died like in March of March of twenty twenty three, and I'm like, dude, this person, the, the, oh, the Craig would have known that one. Dirt hasn't settled yet. Have we have we talked death yet? Have we talked death pool? Deadpool? The new Deadpool coming out? No, 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 Deadpool no. Deadpool 3? Have you heard of the death pool? I've heard of what a death pool is. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so we... Do you know what a death pool is? Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to tell the listeners, You but guys have your own together, kind of. We, yeah. <laughs> we're, number one pick? <laughs> you. <laughs> but uh, one of our friends was telling us, I think we were at Circa uh, watching football and he's one of the fantasy football uh owners and he's like hey uh you guys have done a death pool before we, i'm in one do you want to do our own and we're like well what is that and so basically what it is is that you choose five people that you think are going to die in that year in the next year so you know around you pretty much submit your picks like december 31st like at 11 p.m kind of a thing and so I put mine together. It's like five. You get more points if it, your top dog, you know, passes. <laughs> it's such a weird, dark thing. I, I thought it was fun to kind of guess, but it was like. Is it more points for the younger? Like that you've guessed somebody younger? No, you just rank who you think. Oh, okay. it, yeah. So who's the first one to go? I got like Jimmy Carter. I got 90 year olds on there. Dick Van Dyke. I did have Kanye West on there. I thought maybe he was going to lose, you know, go go crazy. But uh Jamie had Tina Turner as her number one pick, and nobody else's has gone. Like Queen Elizabeth, what were we thinking? Should have had her on there. Dude, nobody picked Ryan Mallet. <laughs> <laughs> that's so bad. See, like, like that. <laughs> like that's too soon. Like right if there. Craig, 
<laughs> had Ryan Mallet on a death pool. That should be bonus points because the dude was in his 30s. That's crazy. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> but that's messed up that he would even say that. That's crazy. Wow. Now That's I- not messed up. He t- he has a text <laughs> that he just sends out as soon as like if I find out people no die. Way. I find out who dies by uh Craig sending a picture of that person in our group chat. You have a death text thread? <laughs> Basically. Wow. Would it be weird when Craig dies that you get a he sends you a picture of himself and it was like five days after he passed and we're like, <laughs> What happened? Whoa. You know you know what started it? And it's it's uh it's late beyond the time I can explain, but when I, what first started this entire text chain that I continue to do now is I sent a picture of a downed helicopter right after, <laughs> and that's what started the entire thing from then on. Kobe, yeah, Kobe, <laughs> wow. He didn't send anything for the submarine. Though, Homer was... I don't think he knew how to do it. Yeah. Homer was getting excited because his Black Hawk down. He thought it was Black Hawk down. <laughs> <laughs> but, and maybe, I'm going to get us canceled? <laughs> no. Black Hawk. Yeah. I'm down. sure that's what you said. That's, that's why Homer Actually, got Actually, we, uh, we, we threw out the joke last night about the, uh, about the sub. Yeah, we did. <laughs> we did. We threw well, it what down. was the joke? Uh, I don't know. It was like something like, what, was, what movie's about something 43 meters down? And I'm like... The submarine? Like how how recent are we on these things? You know it's funny. Okay, I'll tell I'll tell the next joke. Okay, so uh, submarine. So behind you, you guys can see it. Uh, people that are not in this room can't see it. But my dad is a cabinet maker. He's uh, cabinet trade. Uh, done done a few other things with around the uh, construction arts. But uh, Madden graduated last year. Megan graduates this year. Last year, my dad made out of wood um and the wood is actually from we used to own a house on kibler and we downed me you know me and sadie did and then me and jamie did and so the kids majority of their childhood was in that house and there was a huge redwood tree so we downed it because we wanted to sell it plus it was like getting scary like when the winds and it was massive and so my dad uh had a cut in, and shout out to Bruin Logging, cut it in larger logs, uh, not using it for firewood, but he, then he planed it down, and then he now he has all this plywood for it. So he he built, a, for, for Madden, it was a chest, like a hope chest, and we filled it up with stuff. And for Megan, he made her like a long vanity, like a, like a, like a taller uh, cabinet. And, uh, and then he's like, hey, we got, we got, markers and everyone wrote on the back of it uh like a yearbook and i said it's gonna be funny for whoever gets this in a garage sale in about 30 years there's gonna, they're gonna read the back of that and be pretty pretty amazed but uh i asked my dad i said uh so you got a you made a treasure or a hope chest for my for madden you made a long vanity for for meg and for when kane graduates you're, just, you're gonna make a like a wooden submarine that he could he could go and uh, it got a lot of laughs then but uh, you know, it's kind of played out now. So. It's one of those moments. One of those moments that you had to be there, yeah. and then the people who are listening have to be here to see what that is. So it's like a double "you had to be there" moment, which just cancel each other out. This, and... Yeah, so it's a positive. Well, Two yeah, negatives. I didn't say that. Positive. <laughs> didn't say that. <laughs> um. Well, we're officially past. June. June is so busy with people with kids graduating and Father's Day, and you're kind of sneaking in your first vacation or a couple days off. Uh, but I have the biggest question of them all. Uh, Craig, was your was your lawn resuscitated? Unfortunately, yes. Now it looks green, and I don't like it. So, <laughs> so just get the rototiller out. And just, <laughs> there's ways to change that. I had cutting it super short. Just leave. Some, I might even just leave this some weekend, glass out. So it this week it's supposed it. to be super. <laughs> it's supposed to be super hot next week for the fourth and the day after. I'm just gonna cut it super short right before. So like hopefully that. it burns it. I like how most people like move the sprinkler around the lawn <laughs> to kind of get all watered. There's there's Craig with like an old window. Yeah. <laughs> just hold, just hold. What are you it. doing? Oh, I'm just, saving the environment. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. So not use all this water. <laughs> Burden, <laughs> burden my grass. Uh, how was your Father's Day? 
Do we have we talked about your Father's Day? We have not. How was your Father's Day? I was in Oregon at a tournament. How was your tournament in Oregon on Father's Day weekend? It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Did you guys win? Uh, it ended up getting rained out. <laughs> After <laughs> we played a couple games in the morning, and then it didn't finish on that Sunday. It got rained out down there. And so what is that? It's just like, hey, sorry guys, have a great day. Basically. And what did you guys you have guys, fun on your three and a half hour drive home? Did you guys place at all? Uh, Good luck going through JBLM. <laughs> yeah, have fun. Exactly. <laughs> uh, no, no, we weren't. We didn't get long enough on Sunday to actually do anything. So, were the kids disappointed, or were they like? I don't think so because we'd already we'd already been delayed. Then it, it we got the sun came up. We were out warming up. Then it just pissed, so we all got wet. Then it got delayed again. And then they finally canceled it. And at that point, I think everybody just wanted to go home anyway. Mm. So. So it's like, yeah, let's get this over with. Got enough stuff going on. Yeah. Because, I mean, if we would have stayed around and, like, actually did good to finish it, we would have been playing at, like, 8, 9 o'clock at night and still having to drive home. <sighs> Sounds terrible. You probably got home at the same time. I got home. Yeah, it was, like, 6, 7 <laughs> o'clock. <laughs> uh, Corey, how come you're, you got muscle relaxers going? Is it because... Uh, well, yeah, just tell me why. Why you got my, my muscle relaxers going? My back's just out from work. Are the pumpkins? Are they already here? No, it's watermelons right now. That's what I was gonna ask. Okay, because I was gonna say, is watermelons the equivalent of pumpkins? Yeah. it's not as bad as pumpkins, but pumpkins is like one shot, one bad day, like twice. Watermelons is like every day during the summer. So, 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 so why don't you hate watermelons more? Because I can I can move that to other people much easier than I can pumpkins. Oh, okay. You can delegate those. <laughs> yeah. And as the are you the are you the produce manager? No, Brandon is. Oh yeah, that's right. Brandon. Yeah. But when Brandon's out, because I mean, congrats to Brandon again. When he's gone, yeah, I gotta. That's you, basically. But then you delegate. Yeah, as much as I can. Yeah, you're like those pumpkins. I ain't doing that. Yeah, that's you guys. Well, once that shows up again, we'll see how it goes. Yikes. Sometimes things get delegated to me. <laughs> then you try. Do you ever try the reverse? <laughs> do you ever bring the un, the Uno reverse card and just set it right in front of him? Be like, sorry, pal. <laughs> That's back to you. It's it's much easier to delegate now than it used to be for me because I'm like, it's just not worth it for, for my body to go do all this crap anymore. Yeah. Back then, I used to have to do everything because it was just yeah. uh, it's easier if I do it my way. You're the old lineman. And That's now still I'm like. On the team. Mm, like you go, just stack it some way, and I'll go. I'll go arrange it later. That's crazy. That's good though. That's better. Yeah, that's better. Smarter, not harder. But obviously, it doesn't work all the way when I'm still that way, and I'm not muscle relaxers. Now, uh, Corey, question for you. I want. I want. Craig said something. We saw Connor Young. Hmm? Craig said some things last night, and I want to see if that would. Jo- it's correct. Okay. He said some things to Connor. Yeah, to Connor about fantasy football. And he said that Connor would have a better, an easier time getting into your league than he would be getting into Craig's league. That Connor would? Connor would, based off of votes and stuff. Connor's already in Craig's league. Yeah. I don't think you, I think what you misunderstood is I said Connor would have an easier time getting into Corey's league. Oh, Corey's league. Then you would get oh, into my league. Then I would. And then and then I proceeded and then I proceeded to tell him that <laughs> he already got now. zero votes. <laughs> he just, it already turns in real time. Oh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> that's what was that, said. That makes so do you agree with what he just said? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's almost that time. You guys have filled up your guys' uh, owner roster. Yours is set. Um, maybe not a hundred percent. I haven't. Ver- I usually about a month before I verify. Will you disband if there's not enough? Like, let's say there's one spot left, and you're like, I can't fill it. Then is it? Oh, we have a dummy team. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. <laughs> what if there's like two spots left? Well, then we just drop to eight teams. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not coming. I'm not coming over for the fourth, though. I do want you to know. Did you know that? I heard it. Yes. You knew I wasn't. Oh, I didn't know you weren't. No, I'm not. Okay. Well, I mean, I might. Well, now, you, now I know you're not. So. Well, because Carrie was like, she she was talking and she did this whole thing. Remember, remember on the Christmas story, where one guy is talking and to his and he ooh 
Like he realizes he said something and he could, he shouldn't have said it. Maybe a parent heard it or something like that or, or teacher or something. Ooh. She talked about the forest without knowing you were there. Well, she's like, yeah, we're going to have a party. Uh, and then... Uh, and then... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like... And, and she goes... And I, I think she told... She turned... Because it was like, yeah. I think Carrie forgets that I'm married to Jamie. And so she's like, really? like They'll talk and chat. And then, yeah, you, got, you know, why don't you come over to... Ooh. Then she like realizes at that moment. Oh wait. no! I think she meant this. She could come. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Jamie's there. I was playing all the hits though, and I'm telling you, Carrie was loving my DJ, and she's a bit. She's a sucker for Careless Whisperer. By is it Whisperer or Whisperer? By uh, Wham. Maybe it's Careless I'm not, I'm Whisperer. Not sure. And then also Dire Straits' uh, "Walk of Life." Da-da-da-da-da. But see, the only reason I know those songs is because of Safeway. <laughs> <laughs> they still play those? I tune in, tune out everything that's on the radio. You don't even hear it anymore. Yeah, I try not to. And all the commercials. Is there one song that gets you going? There's not one song that I remember, but I, other than I used to have a lunch bell that was like an Elvis song back in the day. So you knew when it played at that time of day? Yeah, it played the same time every day. It was time to go to lunch when I worked customer service. Wow. Yeah. Greg? The Blue Suede Shoes? No, I don't even know what song it was. I thought it was an Elvis song. It started with like a horn, so I always knew when that went off. I'm like, oh, lunchtime. <laughs> I'm out. Uh, Do you have a what? Do you have a song? Did you have a song go to at lunch? No, 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 no. Did you have a song at Safeway that you really enjoyed? No. Their, their, song, their song was Do Whatever We Want, and there's no cameras right now. Yeah. <laughs> My song was the Hall and Oates. Um, I won't go for that. No, I won't bump on. That played all the time? When it came on, I was like, this is my jam. I hated the, I think it might have been Nickelback, or it might have been, but it, it it was the worst. I was at Frozen Food, like, filling in for a Frozen Food Manager for like a month, and that song came on, and by the beginning of the month, I hated it. <coughs> by the end of the month, I was like, looking forward to it. I was like, I hate that song so much. I was like, oh, sweet, the song's on. But it was, the, I don't know, what's, I don't know. What's the other one besides what's who's who else gets made fun of? It's like Nickelback and Creed. The, no, it's not Creed. Who makes fun of Nickelback? They're amazing. They are good. I don't like. I'm not a huge Nickelback fan, but I don't mind a lot of their stuff. I think it just was one of those things that became like let's everybody pile on. Yeah, which is kind of not cool. Yeah, I'd hate that. I'd hate to what be if you're like just trying to make you music. Right. I'd hate to be like a guy that. Some people knew, and then like one started hating them, and then the the rest of the group hated them after that. Yeah, that would suck. I, I think it'd be amazing. <laughs> so I need to change the name of the band, like Just Creed like... did. <laughs> da, na, 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 na. You know, is that, is that Nickelback? Yeah. So ba, da, na, 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 na. I I couldn't tell. Is it? This is my photograph. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Uh, uh, Just lost ten uh, listeners. That we. <laughs> That's no, assuming we had ten nobody's listeners. listening. <laughs> it's crazy that people do listen. I got, by the way, shout out to Donovan and Stacy because they listen, and I'm surprised because I'm like they're just BSing me when I run into them. I'm like, no, we listen. To them. They like will tell the stories and guess where Jamie is right now. Golfing at Enum Claw with Donovan and Stacy. I gave up golfing with them to hang out with you guys because I love you guys. I Should just you. let us know. I had no problem not coming. <laughs> or we could <laughs> I was say he would have not showed up. Would you? I would have showed up here and been like, "Hey, you scheduled the time. What's going on?" Yeah, I'm like, "Oh, hey, sorry. <laughs> well, the course. <laughs> Someone say hi to you, and then it's done." Hey, guys, out of it. <laughs> <laughs> there is no way that he would have stopped golfing just to say hi. No, I think he would. He likes no. you. This is too, too busy. Not for the podcast. No, for the probably for the <laughs> podcast. He probably want to get invited on afterwards, but uh, you could. We could have just did it there. That's true. We could have. You need to figure out how to go live as we're doing full something. bogey cast. I know. Yeah. I thought about this. I thought, how do we do this? Go live, but then it would just be. Uh, because you could have did it at your Strawberry Fest, too. Yeah, the Strawberry Fest was great. It was fun. Uh, I, had a, I had a, actually, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, 
didn't know what to expect. And so we, when you kind of go in there with a bad attitude, see, you probably love pumpkins by the end of the because you go in there with a bad, I hate this, and by the end of the day, that wasn't so bad. You hated strawberries going into it? Well, I just... Voice. You hated the Strawberry Festival? Wow. No. I didn't know Whoa. what to expect. Somebody's not getting Not coming back. back. But I made some good friends and great memories, and I was happy that I went. Who was the Strawberry Queen this year? So I took them out. Uh, be- there were 90... She was 91. Oh, there was a Strawberry Queen. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. These these uh, four... You had, you had the, the, the qualifications where you had to be over the age of 65 to be the Strawberry Queen, and you had to be... Under the age of 10 to be the Strawberry Princess. So the Strawberry Queens come up first. They were a hoot. Three of them from the Living Court. I think one other just kind of around town. And uh, Dana Wilcox was there. Had a had just a fun time. These gals uh, had had such a fun time. They was were it like s- a vote that you just hosted? Yeah. Okay. And I was just in the, in the microphone wasn't the best. And so I just shouting it out because I have a decently loud voice. That's annoying to most people, and so I, and so then when I started doing that, everyone kind of left. No I'm kidding, but uh, even the strawberry queens are like, "We're out." I had I, <laughs> <laughs> this is not worth it. <laughs> we're going to the we're going to the Orange Festival. <laughs> we're done with this. We uh, but but one one was a winner, and I think they got like a gift card to like the mint or something like that. But the other two that came from Living Court, they're all dressed. Everyone was dressed up having fun. And I said, uh, well, we don't, we got uh, some ice cream at Sweet Necessities that you guys have kind of won for being second place, third place. And one of them was like, just buy me a beer. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, I'll buy you guys beers. And so uh, then we had the kids come up and then the kids did their thing. And I told them, man, I'm not going to buy you guys any beers. Okay, sorry. But this one, um, the kid that won that was a strawberry princess, I went to high school with her mom. And before the contest, she came up and I was like, oh, cool. You know, your daughter's doing this. And her, the daughter had like had like a denim outfit, you know, kind of a cow, cowgirl looking outfit. And then she had made like for her purse, the you know, denim purse with a strawberry patch on it that she made. And she had some pottery that she had done, made like a pin and a necklace. And I mean, there's she had a lot that was i think i thought was going to get missed i thought the crowd wasn't going to see all the work that she put into it because there was others that had also great costumes or dresses as well all strawberry-ish hair and everything strawberry 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 but she won it that was very cool to see her win that and um did you wear a strawberry shirt i wore a strawberry shirt uh here is a bro pro uh do this tip do not buy off of Amazon, guess your size, and then open it on the way and put it on on the way there. Because I was wearing a jacket the whole I was kind of letting it just kind of show. Was it a button up? It was a button up. So did you just leave it open then? No, because I I tried that and then that looked weird. The whole thing just looked weird. The whole thing. But I was able to kind of piece it together where I was decently okay. But then I rip my jacket that's you know with the zipper so then i had to keep adjusting my the bottom of my my uh, zip it was just a mess but i had a great time with those gals they were a lot of fun i forget their names but they were like they knew everything about eden claw they've been like one i think the old ladies yeah like the golden girls oh they're great one was obviously older than the rest so they went through they're like they're like i'm 91 and okay i'm 90 and the other girl's like i'm 70 <laughs> she was like clearly Clearly not. So they were just had they were they were fun, a lot of fun. So hope you know you guys could possibly, you know, a few more years. You guys could be the Strawberry Queens. Maybe I'll be forty soon. <laughs> what are you gonna do for your fortieth? I don't know. Nothing. <laughs> Probably nothing. Craig, what'd you do for your fortieth? Probably take some more muscle relaxers. <laughs> <laughs> They're just too good. At it. Uh, my fortieth. Um, I was in California for a tournament. <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. What'd you do for like family and friends though? Did you come back and throw a little thing for yourself? Uh I don't I don't think so. Should we do uh Craig and Corey's fortieth on Corey's fortieth? <laughs> like combined. Yeah. An eighty day. Yeah. And then uh Corey's just pissed again. I want it to be like the old what they used to do with people with the over the hill, like the black balloons everywhere. That's what you want? Yeah. 
just to be be old. Old. You could you <laughs> with your attitude that could have been thirty five. Somebody told yeah. me. Yeah, I was gonna say. <laughs> somebody <laughs> told me the other day. Oh, I was talking to Scott about coming on here. And, yeah. and doing it. And we were talking about age and stuff because I think, what did he tell me? He's like 45, I think. And we were talking about getting to 40. And because we get mistaken for brothers a lot. Yeah. And then a lot of people think he's younger than he is. And I was like, that makes sense. And then he's like, he's like almost like looking at me. People would probably figure that I'm kind of the age I am. But he's like, if they know you, they would just assume you're much, much older. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, well, yeah, that makes sense. What was funny is I went golfing on Sunday with my neighbors, uh, and, and we became friends, too, because we all get gets matched up. His name's Chad Ryan, big hockey guy. Uh, and he's a couple years older than me. I think he's actually like 10 years older than me. Sorry, Chad. But uh, he was like, you know who you should have? And I get this all the time. All You know who you should have on your podcast? Uh, he goes, you ever uh, you, you got, know the guy at Safeway? And I'm like, yeah, uh, there's a few that are I actually you're, had a you're few. Like one of them's on it. One of them. Yeah, he goes. Yeah, and he, but he goes. Uh, you know Scott O'Hanlon. I'm like, yeah, that guy is freaking hilarious. I would love to have that guy on. So I've just given you guys his full name and where he works. So if you go there <laughs> <laughs> and pressure him to come on, please do. But yeah, he was like, dude, he is so funny. No, is, I think he will. He is I gotta, so. Funny. I just got to make it uh, set up right and make it work. What's that mean? We gotta be. We gotta tell him like in advance so he can get his schedule. I would make some of these jokes without his preauthorization, but I, I had a good one there that I'm gonna reserve to myself, or you know, like have him go. I don't know what you're doing. Okay, right now. all right. Do you know what he's doing? I uh, don't care. I'll, t- I'll, t- <laughs> I'll tell you after. He was he was doing something weird. Yeah, a lot of awkwardness. <laughs> I'll. I'll uh, we don't have any here. By the way. I got a message from uh I got a message from Jared Skelly with the scary skellies and he says this June 22nd sorry man been working long days that's it that's all he said and I said no worries lol like oh, like chill no, no, no big deal lol he goes nothing to laugh at I'm like, oh, I'm I'm sorry. Like he had me. Uh, I said, get your rest. Think of some fantasy football stumpers too. Craig can't wait to start that podcast that back up. Will not be happening. <laughs> <laughs> Service <laughs> announcement. Craig has will a, not be happening. New announcement. Craig has a solo podcast <laughs> just for football. And he goes, I was kidding. Thanks though. I will. So we don't have any scary skellies this week. Sounds to me like somebody's slacking. He is slacking hard. But maybe, maybe he might. Now my uncle like pulled me aside at Megan's graduation. He's like, "Hey, do you watch this podcast and this, this, and this of these fantasy football guys?" He goes, "I've been watching." He's retired now, so he's like into it. He's like, "I'm jazzed. I'm, I'm pumped for this." I don't think I don't. Maybe one or two things, kind of, but not really. I used to be a guy that would just buy the magazines when they came out and just sit down and just spend the afternoon going through them. Uh, I don't really do that anymore. Do you guys do anything like? Do you guys listen to even now, like two months prior, some podcasts for for fantasy football or anything? I stopped a lot of it because it's so like it got so saturated to me that there's so much information and you just kind of get information overload. So I keep it to like one or two websites, and that's about it. But do you do look at it now? I look at it, yeah. No, okay, okay. But I'm setting up. I'm doing tons of stuff for our league now too. So I'm got the art. Art going on and names. Yeah, and I do all, all that. that, and then I'm setting up for the draft and getting things ordered and doing all that. So then I look at the fantasy stuff as I'm doing all that. Nah, no reason for that. Where did you guys finish last year? Uh, middle of the road. Because it was looking bad at the beginning. Dire. We we, you, we weren't in the ass bowl. I th- I think we were both in the middle somewhere. Because I didn't make the playoffs. So I was right outside yeah. the playoffs yeah. then. So you guys got some compensated with some draft picks this year? Looking pretty good? Well, as long as you didn't trade them away, remember, there's a bunch of trades. And oh, stuff. yeah, that's right. That's right. So I have the only two first-round picks. The only news I get is Twitter. Okay. Yeah. From I'm a Shef- Twitter guy. From Shefty. For, yeah. And uh, like 
knowing what just happened today, I would never like draft the Indianapolis Colts defense as a defense. What happened today? <laughs> I haven't even seen. There's a guy that was gambling is going to get suspended. Oh. They, they, Israel let him go. Yeah, it's not going to matter. He's gone. Two guys. If you weren't going to draft the defense, I also, you wouldn't have drafted him anyway. Now. <laughs> I also follow Israel. So. How do you? Mm-hmm. Nah, he's a funny guy. He let uh, he let him go. He likes a lot of music stuff. Craig, deep down, when that stuff happens, do you kind of love it? For other, no, no, for, no, no, against for, Corey, yeah, yeah. no, a, a little bit. It takes a little bit away from it, though, because I mean that was probably the best defense player. No, he wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> Craig, Craig loves it. I'm surprised he didn't get a lifetime ban. He bet on the Colts. Did, what? Yeah, he bet on. So did you? The, did one you of see, the Colts running backs. Yeah. And they, Jonathan Taylor. So I, they didn't specify, but I'm assuming. Here's it was what's him. funny about it. It was I like w- one of those daily bets. I think I watched a clip with on uh, um, Pat show. Yeah, I don't know if I whatever. But anyway, uh, Pat, you, do you know him? Yeah, do you guys on a first name basis. <laughs> you guys know, you know Pat. <laughs> Pat, you know what we call him, <laughs> Big Patty Mac. Pat, but, uh, Pat <laughs> Nanny McPhee. Yeah, but he uh, he said he's he made a good point. He's like he needs to come out. That's he's already everything's already happened. He needs to come out and let people know if he bet the over or under because it was on rushing yardage. And if you're betting an under on Jonathan Taylor in your team, you're, it's going to be way worse. If you just right now, you should just come out and say, yes, I made the bet. I bet over, though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except if you saw the playbook and you kind of know they're going to go pass heavy. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's the thing. I don't know how dumb you are to do that. Like, you shouldn't play on this team because you're stupid. <laughs> well, how long is – yeah. Because you have one job with gambling in the NFL is to not gamble on the NFL. Right. Like, they t- just don't bet on just the don't NFL. Do they let you bet on other shit from their outline. Yeah. Just don't bet on this game that you're actively playing, and guess what you will do? You will make millions of dollars yes. playing this game if you just don't bet on this game. Right. And you still can't do that. It was a $1,000 prop bet. And how long – here's the thing. How long is an average NFL career, right? It's like three years, two to three years. It's not that long. So just don't gamble for like six years. But I would understand and it more. Gamble the re- and you're still involved in, in football if because it was you're watching it and you're gambling on it the rest of your life. The other guys that got suspended are like low-level guys, right? I understand it more. It's still stupid, but if you're only making the league minimum, right. I understand it. that guy was about to get paid. Like he was going to make millions of dollars on his next contract. Because it's not that he was the best player, but he was one of the key players. That's stupid. So you just cost yourself millions of dollars for a thousand dollars. Well, I'm sure he bet other stuff too. Skelly's deleting his question. You know he was going to bring that up. But like, <clears throat> say hello to the XFL. Yeah, gamble on all you want. <laughs> Ro- the Rock did and lost. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> all right, sorry, Veronica. That was enough time for uh, for talking about sports. But we're going to get into the Veronica's hot topics. Brought to you by Veronica Lara. Uh, she is uh, a female that said, I hate when you guys talk about sports, talk about women's stuff. So it's us guys talking about women's stuff. I have a lot of topics that are in a uh, glass that are written out, and I just pulled one out. So let's see what the topic is. Couples songs. Couples songs. Do you guys have your song? I mean, my parents had... Their song, right? Where, oh, it's our song. It's our song. Do you guys have your song? Craig. Yes. Weezer, the undone song. The uh, the pull the string. Yep. The, wow. And the, was it because that's when, uh, was was that, when did that come about for you, actually? Let me ask you that. It was actually uh, when we were still just friends. It was. uh I was getting that sweater undone. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, you know how when we were in high school, you obviously had a home phone. Yeah. You'd make a phone call and sit and BS or talk for quite a long time. And, uh, that song was playing. And I think, uh, I think we fell asleep while you're on the phone. Just, just, it was late, late just, night talk. Just you carrying Weezer. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. And we've seen Weezer, uh, in concert three times now. And wow! Every time that that song comes on, it's awesome. So you guys are big Weezer fans too. I've always liked Weezer. Yeah, that's awesome. That's cool. That's a good story. Yeah, Do you too. remember? Because I don't remember my wedding dance song even. Do you remember your wedding dance? Song? We didn't dance. I didn't have dancing. You didn't have dancing at all. Oh, that's right. You didn't have dancing. strict. 
No beer, no dancing. It was footloose up in there. <laughs> That's true. Um, is, that, is that true? That's 100% true. It is true. true. I do remember now. What ha- what, where, oh, what plus, ha- we weren't 21. So. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't remember my... With my ex, I don't remember the wedding song, but I do remember when we were dating, there was a train song. One of the tra- And I don't remember what song it was, but it, I remember that was on all the time. That was like one of them. I don't know the train song. Like is train, it, you know who Train is? No. Oh, it's a band. It, yeah, Train's a band. Oh, okay. I, I probably heard then, it. Okay. You probably would have heard it. I, the Drops of Jupiter, I think, is one of their songs. Okay. But whatever. You won't remember it. Apparently. Is that emo? No, it's like pop. Okay. It's like a pop rock band almost. Okay. Um, now I don't really have the song. So like for me with music, it's like super lyrical. I'm, I think we talked about that before. Where like I'm super lyrical with stuff. Yeah. So now there's multiple. You're the hip hop apotamus. There's. Um, Lyrics are bottomless. A couple of the songs now that like if I hear a lyric or something hits with me and then I'll I'll let her listen to it. And I'm like this this is it almost verbalizes for me kind of type of thing. So there's yeah. a few songs like that that I. Does she like that? Yeah. Does she like that you're a sensitive guy? Oh, but, I mean, I'm assuming if she's still with me. <laughs> or does she ever like, dude, this guy needs to like friggin'. He, uh, she's texting her friends going like, he sent me another friggin' song. I gotta read this. I do it. I do it right there so she has to do it. And then <laughs> I get to see the reaction. Corey, Corey still does mixtapes for her. Do you? I wish. I forgot how to burn CDs. <laughs> get on Napster. <laughs> get on Napster again. Get LimeWire. Uh, I'm not actually sensitive. I, I'm crazy and I'm aggressive and I just throw things around the house. You're, I'm the opposite of what yeah, I portray. You are. Yeah. Me too. Yeah, you're, uh, yeah, Craig, Craig's the lamb. I'm the lion. Your, <laughs> your sex mixtape is, let the bodies at the floor. Let the... Yeah, and then Chuck Berry. you guys are going to do it on the floor. Then Chuck Berry comes on. <laughs> um, do you ever go like, hey, do you want this to be our song? Do you mm. want this to? Uh, is that when you no, send it to her? It's just I, I'll listen to it and it'll uh, hit me in that moment and I'll be like, "Listen to this." Does she do the same thing? Does she reciprocate? Uh, there's a couple, but not as much as what I do. Like that's kind of how I operate mentally. So you're like, "You and me, baby, are nothing but mammals." If, that, if that's what the mood is, <laughs> <laughs> here, listen, like here, listen to this song. Listen, I, I <laughs> Jamie knows. Uh, you know what? I want to say that. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a we don't have a uh, song. We don't. We don't have a song. We've never had a song. I think maybe Sadie and I did. I don't know. But uh, what surprises me is like Jamie knows every lyric to "Shake That" by Eminem and Warren G. And, <laughs> and the whole time she's singing it, I'm like, dude, can we do some of that? <laughs> like you're singing those lyrics. Can we do some of that sometime? <laughs> And so that's going to be our song. So officially now, now today, uh, on June 29th, 2023, at 418 p.m. What? Is that plenty? Is that good? Well, Time-wise for everybody? Oh, well, I don't care. Okay. 418 is good. Oh, where I'm supposed to be? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I live life free, man. <laughs> these, not, <laughs> not supposed, <laughs> these muscle relaxers take me one mile at a time. Not supposed to be anywhere I'm not supposed to be. <laughs> Anyway, that's my song. Uh, let us know your guys' couple's songs. Send it to us. I, I, I feel like we need to do that again. Get people to. And I'd like to read some of those uh, couple songs if 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 you got some. Uh, we'll we're wrapping it up now. We're on to shout outs. Shout outs. Corey. So my shout out is somebody that I've shouted out before, but I have to say something. I will send you the picture so you can post it. Uh, my shout out is to Jackson. Because he almost he almost died. Like, dude contacted me. He sent me this message, and he's like, "Hey, I got a story for your podcast." And I, <laughs> and I go, "Okay." And he sends me this picture of his car underneath an eighteen wheeler. Shut up! And so we can do the story on the next episode. And so I'll tell the story <laughs> on the next episode. But I'll, and I'll send you the picture, and you can post it. That's what we call. And a tease. Uh, but shout out. <laughs> to Jackson for having somebody looking over him, man. Because wow, the story really? he told me it's crazy. Well, is he going to tell us the story? He told me the story already. Well, can you tell us the story? I, do you oh, want me to tell it on the next one, or do you want me to tell it right oh, now? Oh, next episode. <laughs> well, I don't want to record another one right now. Oh, okay. So he was... Wait, wait, I'm not wait. coming back. <laughs> no, wait. Wait, wait, real quick. We, this is behind the scenes. How's your next week looking? Tight. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> those muscle relaxers, you're feeling good on those. Five, five days. Yeah, no, but you don't have seven days in a week? <laughs> Someone's phone's ringing. Uh, Thursday? How do you look on Thursday? All right, I'd have to get back to you. My schedule's pretty full. I barely yeah. fit you in now. He only books a week That's at a time. <laughs> The opposite of muscle relaxers. <laughs> um, no, he was. It was on a, on the freeway, and he was driving. And he said he lost he lost control, and he went over four lanes, and he ended up underneath an eighteen wheeler. Wait, wait, wait. That okay? We fast forwarded. Hold on. You what? told me to tell the story. I don't know. Wait, what road? He was on the freeway over by Piala. Okay, by Piala. He's eight, and he and he is and he's driving. He's and dri- he lost control. Come, oh, is it in the in the rain or? He didn't tell me why. Bald tires, okay. And he went all the way across four lanes underneath an eighteen wheeler, and then the eighteen wheeler dragged him for like eighty feet. Whoa! Underneath, and so he sent me the picture and he told me the story. And was he, anyone right? No one was riding with him. No, they would have been killed. He there was, and he he walked away. Holy smokes! He walked away with just like bruises and whiplash and like and you trauma. know muscle, but like. I'm like, dude, you were so lucky. Like, somebody was watching over you to have that happen and walk away from that. Because that could have been I can, so much worse. I can tell by this. Yeah, those are bald ass tires. This <laughs> Jackson, go get some tires, <laughs> man. Especially now. I don't think he's going to use that car probably for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, no, that's. Uh... I mean, I kind of feel bad <laughs> because you've been giving me five bucks a month and I feel like you could have bought some tires. That's why that he money. didn't. That's why he couldn't. Couldn't buy it. I feel if he would have saved the five dollars a month, he probably would have bought him. Had by those now. tires, he'd be fine. He would have that car still. And but no accident would have happened. That so. sucks. Well, I'm I'm happy that you're alive, Jackson. Shout out to you. And we want to say on the record, so if you go to the lawyer, that full buddy is fully responsible. No, they're not. <laughs> no, they're not. Because <laughs> of what hey, we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> I said I felt bad. I didn't say I was the actual reason for it. Craig, shout outs. I'd like to shout out Corey. Oh, wow. Well, this never happens. That's Tra- it. That's Tra- it. Tra- <laughs> Travis Corey? <laughs> <laughs> no. I like that's, to shout out that's it. For what? Is it- it d- does it matter? Why, okay. does, right. why does that tone have to be taken? <laughs> no, I mean, sorry. Like, for, for what? <laughs> no, like, for what? He hasn't done anything. Because I'm a nice guy. That's good. I don't think he had a shout out. He's just using me as a scapegoat. Yeah, probably. It's still a shout out. <laughs> I'd like to shout out the Pat patrons. I got some stories on them as I go. Kellen Hall, Holly Graff, Eric Madrid, Adam Cuddy Art, Seth Loop. Shout out Seth Loop. Hope to talk to him soon on here. Cassie Spencer, Amanda Keating, Shekinah Sarver. Enjoy, enjoy your vacation. Jared Skelly, get in the lab. Uh, Homer Robertson, thanks for joining. Veronica Lara, thanks for your stuff. Ben Illman, Jamie Roberts has been like. And I, I've dropped the ball. It's been a busy week, Jamie. If you're going to listen, it's been a busy week, my man. I'm so sorry. I actually followed. My, so me and Jamie are door dashing the other day. And Dan Knut Snyder, the owner of Mount Peak Sweeps, that, that truck. Um, the, he like went down my kid's street. And they my kids was too late to not get the ice cream. And the ice cream, man, you know, it's fun when you're a kid, right? Choco Taco for me. What would you guys get at that for ice cream truck? Uh, whatever the popsicle is, firecrackers, firecrackers, firecrackers. Okay, yeah. so we. Uh, and by the way, happy Fourth, everyone! Happy Fourth! Yeah, enjoy your Fourth of July. Enjoy, your, yeah. Go get a firecracker, popsicle, popsicle, <laughs> pops in your and then blow mouth, it up. not in your hand. Do a sparkler bomb for Craig. <laughs> Don't do that either. <laughs> sparkler We're gonna, bombs this is, rule. This is the law. Full this buddy is, sponsor <laughs> sparkler no! bombs. Dude. <laughs> We could do that. That'd be awesome if Full Buddy could do a sponsor. We should make a bunch of sparkler bombs and put a Full Buddy sticker on them and then hand them out to people. Oh, yeah. It's a terrible idea. <laughs> Craig's like, if I can't take this thing down, I'm going to force it. I'm going to make it happen. But anyway, Jamie uh, Roberts. Uh, well, so, yeah. So, Dan Dan Knut Snyder. I messaged him like, hey, uh are you, are you coming back? Or he goes, well, there's an app tracker on my, uh, and he sends me the ice cream app tracker. You can go to his page and you can actually click the link if you are, see if you're close to him or you can drive to him. It's pretty sweet. And so I, we drove to him and happened to park right outside of uh, Morgan D's parents' house, but they were all outside. The kids were there too. And they were, um, you know, having ice cream. And, and so got to talk to, talk to Jamie for a little bit and, 
Uh, anyway, but he asked me for a certain request that is not podcast related, so I'm not going to share it. But uh, anyway, he uh, he said so, and then I completely forgot about it. So I'm sorry, Jamie. But then I remembered it when he reminded me, <laughs> and now uh, hopefully it works out. I don't know if it's going to or not because I can't because no one's getting back to me. Anyway, Jamie Kenny Jackson Zinehook, thankful that you are alive. And we take responsibility. <laughs> we do not take any responsibility, but thank you <laughs> that you're alive. Sasha Carrie Lynn, uh, uh, Thomas Savageo, Councilman Anthony Wright, St. Hills Golf and RV Resort, real estate agent Cameron Stratton, and Katri Hoban. Uh, thank you very much for being sponsors for uh, Full Buddy Cast. We appreciate it, especially me, because I'm the only one that sees the money. What are you up to now? There's no board. There's so. no board. We're at 20, 20 folks right now. Oh, nice. 20 folks. Appreciate everyone. Uh, go. Mm-mm. Oh. Go MLB All-Star Game. That's going to be fun. Go America. Yes. Go Eagles. On All the American Bald flag. Eagles. <laughs> <laughs> Rude. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks for listening. Have a great 4th of July. Be safe. Have fun. Shoot past run, shine like the stars, right past the sun. Did you used to be a rapper? That was Shaq oh, Fu. Oh, yeah. Shaq Fu to return. Sparkle bombs for the win. Okay. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> Blow stuff up. Love you guys. Bye. Hello. Goodbye.